Hi, I'm Le Late Game Reviewer here, and uh, welcome to my channel. Yeah, it looks like Angry Joe made an angry rant about this one. This one is just fucking weird. Um, yeah. Late Game Reviewer here, and welcome to my channel. It looks like... I say that Angry Joe made a fool out of himself because I did saw him a couple of days ago, one or two days ago at this point of the video, and he was on Twitch, uh, streaming the game, playing with the game, and it was on PC, playing with a controller. Goddamn traitor. Uh, but, no, it's, that was the only joke that I'm going to make about him. But for the rest, it's completely serious. Angry Joe is not only a sellout, but he's a fucking fraud. I don't get this guy. This guy is the one who's going to pre-order games, who's going to buy the DLCs and all the premium collector's edition and everything that's cost like really freaking high that you get extra content with. But he supports it, and then he makes a rant. How much, how much hypocritical can you get? This? Oh my god, this is a lie. Looks like this guy is just cashing in on it's a clickbait man it's a freaking fraud what the hell is this this okay you go on twitch you see him he's having a really like a really great great freaking time and he also says something like uh, people are overreacting and that game doesn't deserve the uh, the negative reviews i'm not kidding this is what he said yesterday no for me it was two days ago on twitch and at that same time like 30 minutes after bam ddos attack well from what i saw on the chat it looks like it was a ddos attack and then i get flipped to another page which i don't know why like coincidence but it was a stream from a guy who makes the stream like 50 kilometers well approximately 50 kilometers from my place like <laughs> okay wow coincidence i don't know that guy was great, by the way. More than him. Um, how? I don't even know what. I, I I don't even know what to say anymore. That guy's a fucking fraud. But I got some other things to say, anyways, regarding this. Like, for example, uh, uh, like I'm gonna be. Uh, I I was really surprised to go over the comments and just looked at what people said in this video, and. Most of the most of the people that I see here weren't really like they weren't idiots. A couple of them said like a couple of things, and and with this whole thing happening, I just have to make this really short and sweet. But this is weird because console gamers are constantly laughing at us right now because the PC version is like completely like a big mess. And then they say, well, ha, ha this is, uh, that'll teach you to laugh and insult us and everything. Number one, we're not insulting you, and I'm going to get that on, on that later. But no, do you remember Witcher 3? Yeah, I do, because it almost went under the radar of everyone. That game wasn't working on day one. No, it didn't. Why? I don't know, I like a patch. But anyways, it wasn't working. They were really silent at that time. Did you notice? Huh? Go suck a dick. Seriously. God. Pisses me off, man. And then... There's a couple of them that says... Like, there's this as well, and... <laughs> oh, man, this is... There's so much hypocrisy here. Then there's Payday 2 on console. This is the... Well, this is like another piece of shit on console. Well, another one. I... There's another thing about Batman Arkham. My God, I got so much to say here. Payday 2 is just like, it, it doesn't work. It crashes. There's glitches. Uh, the battle matchmaking system just uh, doesn't work. Uh, this is from what I uh, from what I get. Like, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, not reviews, but comments. Not only here, but ain't, uh, like, like a couple of places on the internet that they talk about the console version of Payday 2. It's a complete mess. And it's still not fixed. So, yeah, they're really silent on that, though. Really, really silent. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And then there's the fact that... There's also a lot of comments regarding PC gamers, PC Master Race members or fans, 
Insulting console gamers. Okay, I'll be honest, they are. But those are trolls, and they're not really PC Master Race fans or, or members, because if they were, this is what a true PC Master Race member will tell you. For the same price of a console for $100-$500, probably a teeny, bit, like a teeny bit more, you're gonna get the same, if you don't look at the price, of course, that's going to be a bit later, but if you don't look at the price, you'll get the same performance of a console that'll run on 1080p, 60 frames a second. As of now, it is not possible to do that on consoles. Impossible. And if it is, it's not the same quality as PC. It is not. It's impossible. The hardware is not strong enough. But... Developers are going around that, giving uh, dynamic resolutions as the dyna uh, as the resolution changes from 1080p to something else, uh, in order to stick with 60 frames a second. There are slight drops here and there, but that's it. Uh, there's other there's uh, like there are other methods, like they remove uh, eight lines to top and bottom, so it's not really 1080p. It's black lines, but they they're able to to achieve like 60 frames a second and really good graphic quality as well. Uh, they can do that. They could have done that with Arkham Knight, but they didn't do that. They shit on console gamers, they shit on, well, especially PC gamers in this case, they shit on everyone. And so, and console gamers are just licking the ass of Rocksteady and Warner Brothers. Warn a brother, by the way. I don't get it. They fuck everyone. They fucked everyone. I, I really don't get it, man. Like, in the 90s, alright? You had games like Doom, Duke 3D, well, no, probably not Duke 3D, but Doom and all those old uh, PC DOS games, they had one chance, probably a second chance, but that was really, really rare. If they fucked up the first time, that was done. That's it, no more games. You didn't have internet, you had BBSs. A 14.4 dial-up modem, does anyone remember that? Holy shit, I did, it was the best time of my life. 14.4 modem on my Windows 3.1 system. I had to dial in even DOS, by the way, because I use Terminate. Uh, like a lot of people use Telex, but I use Terminate because of the uh, macros that you could input. Uh, I did all those neat stuff, but anyways. I even created a BBS on my own at some point. Uh, that was really great times. You had to log in using a username and password every freaking time. You heard the dial-up modem sound. You went in, you downloaded the shareware uh, version, which was kind of a, a demo of a full game. It's like the full game, but split, and there's like a little section, perhaps like one or two levels, which you can complete, and that's it. There was nothing more. And if you did like it, you called the number, you send in the check, they gave you the game. That's it. They had one fucking chance. There was no two second chances. No, no one, no day one patch, no multiple patches after launch. No, they had to work extra hard. They had to be fucking careful. And I'm not talking about Nintendo games and all those fucking console, old, really old console games where the quality insurance department didn't exist. That was like out of there. It, it didn't exist at all. You released it. How many games on the Nintendo that was really fucked up on the Genesis or the Sega Genesis that what really that was really fucked up? Like Fester's Quest, for example. Does anyone remember that game? There's one. There's one weapon that goes in circle or something, and because of the placement of certain uh, buildings or houses, you can't hit the enemy, which makes it really impossible and up to a point. Well, really hard, but up to a point impossible to complete the game. It becomes really, really, really hard. You have to backtrack your way out just to kill that freaking dude. And when you came back, here he is again. Ninja Gaiden. Some, like, one of the core mechanics of Ninja Gaiden is, I don't know how it is exactly, I just can't remember, I saw that. I know it has something to do with the memory inside the Nintendo cartridges, but if you stick into a place where there's a platform, the enemy will, steep, will keep coming in. Like, it keep, you kill him. And if you go forward, it doesn't appear. But if you stick to a certain point into a certain platform, a lot of platforms in that in that game, uh, it would like the enemy would keep coming in. This is not intended. This is a bug. It's a glitch. 
It's not intended, but it makes the game even freaking harder because sometimes when you jump, and even AVGN tells that, when you jump, the enemy comes in the air and he can't even attack. And if you dare attack one time in the air, the enemy on on the bottom on the platform will just stand in the way and you and you'll just go back and well when you get hit you like you go back one step and you die. It's beyond retarded and annoying. If that game wasn't glitch, it would be better, but this makes it a whole lot harder and it makes this is why people love it. But that's the thing. Day one patches not supposed to exist. Pre-orders not supposed to exist. And if they don't exist, gaming company will just work harder. And they'll give everyone, including including console gamers, the game that they deserve. No one deserves this piece of shit. Even on console, I wouldn't buy it. It's a piece of shit. 1080, it's not even 1080p on console. It's 30 frames a second. I refuse to believe that this game is 1080p on console. Even on console, I saw a lot of videos that were frame skipping. There's a lot of uh, FPS drop. The quality is freaking bad. They could do better on console, man. Rocksteady and Broner Brothers are just laughing at everyone. I wouldn't be even surprised to see Game Mule, but that's what I see when I look, when I see, when I hear the word PC gaming. It's Game Mule on, on Steam. I wouldn't even be surprised that the top people of Xbox, Sony, and probably Game Mule are having a drink together and laughing at everyone. Xbox and PS4 fans fighting each other all the fucking time, and console gamers and PC gamers fighting all like each other all the fucking time. They make millions while we fight. Does this sound stupid to you? <laughs> it's fucking, it's beyond retarded. Anyways, late game reviewer here, did you love the video? Um, any thoughts and comments on what I said about, hey, Angry Joe I think is a sellout. If you don't think so, just please prove me otherwise, because I saw on Twitch what he did, and what he says right now just doesn't make any sense. He pre-ordered the game. He should not bitch about this. Him of all people. There is a PC report of Total Biscuit. I saw it, and this guy has the monster machine, but yet I felt that he was, bi uh, he was not biased, which is a really good fucking thing. He bitched on that one really hard and he gave a lot of numbers there's a lot of stats in the in, in that video and it, it was really i really thank him for that because he was right well anyways uh my name is late game reviewer and see you next time